Hello. How are ya? Happy Thursday. It was 11.11. Now I think it's a minute or two later. A minute or two. See if I can say the words right. Ha! Ah, it's a little gloomy out, but I'm feeling fairly chipper. I hope you are too, whether you are or aren't. I invite you to join me if you want to for a little stretching and strengthening. I am, uh, as of usual, here to check in with myself. <sighs> Do a little breathing in and breathing out, letting go of the past, making room for the present. Hmm. I'm down on the floor today as I uh, attempted the live stream over there. I'm moving the heater around a little bit. Starting off in a little squat position here since... Uh, that lends itself well to being on the floor. I encourage you to squat more. I know it sounds funny and looks funny, but sure, it's good for the body. I like to uh, press in the heels down, using the elbows on the knees, pulling the chest forward and kind of wiggling around a little bit in that. Ah, just get a little bit of loosening up in the spine. And I'm going to go ahead and come down into a seated position. Let's see if I can point this heater at myself a little bit better. Because it's chilly in here. And that way I can stand to take off the puffy coat. Let's take a breath or two just to check in with the spine. Shake it out a little. Root the sits bones into the center of the earth. Hang myself from the center of the universe. Ah. Let's do a couple shoulder shrugs with some breathing in. On the way up, put those shoulders in the ears. You can add the fist clench if you want. Clench up the butt even and then ah, just letting all that go. Shake it out a little bit. Let's do another one of those breathing in. Clenching up and then just letting it go, blowing it off. And one more. Breathing in, dancing up, making a little ball and then just blowing it off. Shaking it out. I'm going to do a little gentle twisting, taking right hand to left knee, left hand to the sacrum and then right on the floor behind the sacrum. Using my hands for a little bit of support and torque and twisting through the pelvis, through the spine, with the neck and the eyes, shoulders, just noticing where my gaze gets to behind me. Ah, giving all those organs a nice ringing out and then unwinding. Shake that out and then left hand, right knee, right hand to the sacrum and then onto the floor for support. And again, twisting through the pelvis, through the spine, through the neck and shoulders and eyes. Just noticing where the gaze gets to behind me. Hmm. Ringing everybody out in that direction and then coming back to center. Shake that out a little bit. Let's bring your arms up overhead. Making sure not to crunch up in the shoulders and just do a nice gentle bend over to the right. Rooting that left hip down into the ground and back to center and then over to the left rooting that right hip into the ground <sighs> back to center again this time I'm gonna slide this right hand out a little bit really focusing again on this left side staying rooted down come over a little further thank you for the love I appreciate it <sighs> Coming back to center and then sliding this left hand over, rooting that right hip down and bending over toward the left. Hmm. Let's do that side bending one more time. Rooting the left into the ground, bending to the right, and then I'm going to lift the eyes and chest, still really focusing on rooting that opposite hip down. That gives a nice stretch through the whole side of the body here. And then you can kind of play with that stretch by gazing up, gazing forward, gazing up, gazing forward, and then coming back to center. 
Let's go over to the other side, sliding this left hand out, rooting that right hip down, getting a nice stretch through this side of the body, looking forward and then looking up and forward and up, just playing with that stretch in the torso, gazing up and looking forward and then coming back to center. Ah, shake that out again a little bit. Let's bring legs out in front, straight leg, bounce out those knees, lifting the arms again, and just forward folding from the hips, aiming my chin for my toes. And a nice flat back sensation. And then I'm gonna release all that, rounding the spine, aiming my forehead for my knees. Ah, just enjoying that. And then using my hands on my legs a little bit to help pull the body forward, again, with a relatively straight back, bending from the hips, aiming chin for toes, a little bit deeper now, still trying to relax the backs of those legs. Can a windshield wiper the feet sometimes helps relax in the hips there and in the back and in the belly. And then rounding again, forehead for knees. And one more time, aiming chin for toes a little bit deeper now, pulling with the hands. Wiggle those legs around if it helps. Wiggle the shoulders and back around if it helps too, for that matter. Ah, really just focusing on relaxing the belly, relaxing the back. Sinking into that breath a little bit. And then again, rounding the spine, aiming forehead for knees. Let's roll up nice and slow, stacking each vertebra on the next, coming back into an upright position, hanging from the sky. Let's bring this left foot up in close to the groin and pressing this knee down, again, rooting both sits bones into the earth. The temptation is to lift off of one side or the other, so I like to try to focus on still, still evening out weight distribution of the body, rooting into the earth. Still pressing this knee down, and let's do some more forward folding. Again, aiming chin for toes, you can pull those toes back to increase that stretch a little bit. Folding the body over this right leg, and then rounding the spine again, forehead for chin. And again, straight back, chin for toes. And then rounding forehead to knee. Did I say forehead to chin earlier? <laughs> My brain is just processing that. One more time, chin for toes, folding deeply over that leg. And then forehead for knee, just draping the body over that leg and relaxing here for a breath or two. And let's roll back up. Bring this leg out. Let's do just a little forward folding in the air there for an extra stretch. Putting that down and bringing this foot in close to the groin. Pressing this knee down, balancing the weight on both sits bones. And folding forward, aiming chin for toes over the left leg. <sighs> Again, the, most of the work that's happening in my body is in pressing this knee down toward the floor, keeping the weight even on those sits bones, and relaxing the back and belly and leg as I fold over this left leg, and then rounding the spine, forehead for chin, <sighs> and again straight back, chin for toes, using the arms a little bit to help pull the body forward, still focusing on rooting both those sits bones down into the earth and pressing this knee down toward the ground and rounding the spine, forehead for knees, draping the body over that leg, just enjoying a little, a little wiggle down here, a little stretching, a little releasing. And one more time, chin for toes, pulling those toes back, rooting both sits bones into the earth. And then let's roll up on this side. Coming back to center, bringing that foot back out front and shaking those 
knees out. Let's shake the shoulders out a little bit. Let's bring both feet up now. Palms of feet together. Soles of hands holding on to the feet. And I'm just going to play with a little bit of butterfly knees, as they're often called. Just still trying to get my weight centered onto my sits bones, pulling the body forward a little bit through the shoulders and elbows and pressing those knees down toward the ground. There's lots of, lots of playing around that can happen there as far as range of motion in the hip sockets and through the pelvis, through the low back, ah, through the hips, did I already say the hips? Yeah, through the ankles, do a little flexing there. Let's go over to the left side a little bit more, and over to the right side a little bit more, and then on both sides, pulling that body forward, pressing the knees down. Well, sometimes it's helpful to play with different distances of these feet. You can press the palms of the feet together and slide those out a little bit further and get a little bit of a different stretch. For me, that lessens the stretch quite a bit on the legs, but I can uh, still press on those with the elbows and get some stretch there. Kind of changes up the direction of the stretch. Let's move those out just a little bit more. And again, pulling the body forward, pressing on those knees with the elbows. Maybe one more out, pulling forward. For me, that's rotating the stretch around the backs of the legs a little bit more as I move the legs out. Mm, let's let all that go. Bounce those knees out. I'm going to turn this way just so you can see me a little better. And I think I'm just going to whip out 100 any reps and get on with my day. So actually, I'm going to do just a little spinal rolling first to kind of wake up that spine, give it a little bit of massage on the ground there. You could do this to various degrees. You can make it a lot more intense and come up into a shoulder stand and come all the way up into a stand. Or you could just wiggle nice and gently here, side to side, and back and forth a little bit, giving that low back a nice massage. I like to kind of come in somewhere in the middle, generally, and just waking the spine up. Doing a little playing on the floor. I'm going to come down to relax the whole spine nice and long on the floor, pressing the low back toward the ground. If Sometimes when my low back is feeling unstable and popping, I use my hands in a triangle under the tailbone and or when I have a belt on like I do now. Sometimes that helps keep it from bruising me. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and keep these hands under the low back, keeping my low back pressed onto the floor, keeping my spine nice and long and strong, abdomen nice and long and strong, and then I'm going to be flexing the toes on the way down at first and then trying to reverse that flex halfway through. Sometimes I succeed and other times I don't. Try not to kick down the shelving over there. And I'm going to count backwards to help engage the brain from 99, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 90, 89, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 80, 79, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, a 2, a 1, 70, 69, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 60, 59, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, a 2, a 1, 50, 49, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, a 2, a 1, 40, 39, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, thirty, twenty-nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, thirty, twenty nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, a ten, a nine, eight, seven, six, a five, four, three, two, and disco. There you have it. 100 any reps, nice and quick. Uh, I hope you do at least a little bit. And then maybe a little bit more if you feel up to it. That's generally my goal for most days. I ah, hope you're keeping warm and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed on this, uh, what's looking like a relatively gloomy day out there where I am. I'm going to do some inversions and get on with it. Actually, my son is coming over with lunch for me for my birthday. How lucky am I? Pretty lucky. I'm feeling well-loved, feeling uh, very happy to be myself. I hope you are as well. I hope you're remembering to love yourself because you are worth it. I hope you're taking some time to give your body a little love because it's the one thing you can't live without. Thanks for stopping by. Mark, quick, Brendan, it's good to see you. I'll be seeing you again.